Today we are at Food and Wine Festival in Epcot. This is one of my most enjoying festivals because he's 13 and this is a great way to get him to try food that he doesn't like and vice versa. But first, let's just go over to Creations real quick. This is where they have the majority of all of the Disney merchandise. This is Jaden and I'm Liz. Uh, let's go have some fun today. Inside Creations, I do see a lot of Halloween merchandise still available. Just a couple of weeks ago, the Lounge Fly got discounted to $50 with any merchandise purchased for the Halloween. Now, they had two different styles. They had this style here and the Candy Corn Lounge Fly, which I currently do not see at all. But is it Halloween time or is it the most magical time of the year? So. <laughs> Uh, I am living for this Christmas merchandise. I only see currently a size of small, extra large, and 2X. That means that people have been buying the merch. They have a gorgeous lounge fly to match. I am not a croc person, but I always love the fleece lined crocs. They're so comfy. This year they are $79.99. I need this in my life. It's so fluffy and they have the matching ears. How much is this lounge fly? It is $99. Yeah. They are coming out with the whole gingerbread line. I have to show you. So we are over here close to Test Track and we are going to try the Impossible Montreal Style Burger Slider. I'm Look, it smells delicious over here. And, hey, did you know that every time you eat impossible beef, instead of a beef from a carol, you use 96 less percent land. What about half of the land? 91 percent less GHG emissions and 92 percent less water. Plus, it's good for your body. Right now, I'm waiting for my impossible. And I'm definitely not playing around. All right. Let's give it a go here. Okay, what'd you think? It tastes like a regular old burger. I thought the same. So, what do you rate it? I gave it a regular burger rating, like... Yeah. Out of 1 out of 10? A 10 out of 10. It's, it's like, it's like good, but I feel like they like added like one thing into it. What was that one thing? Deliciousness? Lettuce. <laughs> so, 10 out of 10. So, would you, that means you would eat it again? Yes. 10 out of 10. Sometimes you get uh, Impossible Burgers and it's just a little bit dry. This, I think because of the sauce and everything that was on it, it wasn't dry. It actually tastes like real beef, which makes me wonder if they put real beef. I guess we'll find out in a few hours. <laughs> on to the next. So right out of side of a test track, we're going to try the fry basket. We're going to try the fry flight, which has truffle parmesan fries, barbecue bacon fries, this is the fry that I caught my eye the most. The sweet the flies. potato flies. Fries. <laughs> Good lord. Are they making cooked fr flies now? And there it is. I think I'm most excited to try the sweet potato fries, but we're gonna take it. We're gonna go right over to the Odyssey so he can get his pickle milkshake. We never tried the peanut butter and jelly sticky wings. I heard that's so good. It sounds weird. We tried that last year. We loved yeah. it. That was one of our favorites. And our oh, best. You want to try fried pickle spears? And our best one of all time. The pickle <laughs> All right, we're going to give it a go, guys. Uh, this is all Jaden's. I'll take a little bite, a little I'm sip. Gonna take a sip on that. All right, this is a pomegranate and raspberry herbal tea with orange ice cream molecules. So this is something I wanted him to try because he's had some teas before, but not a lot. So go ahead and try that, buddy. <laughs> Why are you drinking like that? I feel like I had this drink before. Really? I don't know what was it. Do you like it? Yeah, I'm going to try it the little... <laughs> you must like it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try this just to see if it's tasty. It just uh, tastes like a cold pickle. He likes it. It's weird, he doesn't like pickles. He doesn't like pickles. It's great. Let me try this thing here. This thing looks retro. Oh no. Ooh. This is 
was good. You know, I almost wasn't gonna get those because I wanted to try this coffee later. Oh, we like that. This is really good. And then the orange, those orange little ice cream molecules. Those are a nice train to it. Ten out of ten. All right, the next fries we're gonna try. This is the truffle fry. I'm not a big truffle person, but let's just give it a try. Yeah. It's good. I would it's like, like a, a fry. I would like it with a dip. It doesn't have like a, like a super truffle flavor to it. So for those of you who like truffle fries, it's very salty. This is very, very salty. What's the next one? Bacon barbecue. Now this one has like, I'm not, I'm not really too much a red meat eater, so I'm gonna try not to eat that part. It almost looks like a barbecue powder on there. I like this one. I like the flavor of it, what do you think? It's like, I have sauce. This is the one that I want to try. I'm a big sweet potato fan. It's all right. So, I think, honestly, my favorite of the three was the bacon one, which I didn't think it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna be sweet potato one. I think for the value, being able to try three different fries, I think that is the most, like, economical. What was your favorite one out of the three? Pickle. No, out of the... Uh, you said the bacon one too. But I'll pick pickle. Brandon could dip, dip the fries in the pickle. That's what Freddie Lemon like to do. Fries and ice cream. So, so I think the idea of the fry flight is really good. I rate it maybe like on flavor, maybe like seven. What do you think? You rate it. A, a five. So it was just okay. Bring your own sauce. All right, we're heading back into the countries, but first we're gonna stop here at Simmering Sips to try the guava cake with whipped cream and coconut. Well, hello. Can you get a pet duck? No, no pet ducks today. He wants some of our guava cake. All right, guava cake. Looks a little different than the picture, so let's see if it's any good. It's light. It's not what I was expecting. It's very light. It's not like super rich. Like the, the sauce is like almost like a whipped. <laughs> I don't think he likes it. I like it. <laughs> I'm being dramatic. If I want a light snack, this would be good. Does it have cheese? I don't think that's cheese. I'm gonna try to coconut. <laughs> five, a five out of ten. What do you rate it? A four and a half out of ten. <laughs> Not my favorite go-to. See? See, there are things it's I don't good. like. Good. It's good. It's just different. It's different. <laughs> Okay, the first country we're heading to is China. I wanted to get the chicken dumplings, but since we're trying new things, we're gonna try the crispy duck, how do you say it, bio? bio? With hoisin sauce. So this is what it looks like. I will say that the China Pavilion had the longest line, but I felt like it went like amazingly fast. Like I was in a nap, like what was that, like five minutes? All right, let's give it a go. I don't think I've ever had duck. I know you've never had duck, Jaden. Um, I don't know what to Goose. expect. I'll let you take the first bite. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like it needs more seasoning. Let me try the sauce. <laughs> I mean, the hoisin sauce is good. <laughs> it 
it's different. I mean, I feel kind of bad. Is this, is this Donald Trump? No. Do you like this? We're eating Donald's cousins. Do you like the, what's it called? Bao? Bao? Bao. Bao. <laughs> Bao. That's Bao. That, that thick Bao? There's like a fatty piece, like right here. I know this is kind of gross in here, but that's like a, like, like straight fat right there. I didn't know ducks had fat. <laughs> it's okay. Would I get it again? Probably not. No. No. I give, it's not horrible. I give it a one and a half. One and a half? Yeah. Yeah. It's just okay. Womp womp. Alrighty, we are back here at the refreshment outpost. And even though I do like a good plant-based item, this chocolate mousse with white chocolate grabbed the eye of my son. So who am I to deny him some chocolate mousse? Oh my gosh. So in this case, the actual item looks better than the picture and it looks huge. It reminds me of one of those zebra domes, but it looks like it is like 10 times bigger than one of those little zebra domes. So let's let's give it a try. Whoa, hold on a second. Look how that looks. This tastes a lot like a zebra dome. You know about Animal Kingdom? Lodge. Those little, they come in like that. That's exactly what it tastes like. So this, 10 out of 10. And the size of it, for the price, I don't want to say it's too loud. It's a great price. 10 out of 10. What do you think, Kim? Good. A zero out of 10. 10 out of 10. It's light and it tastes kind of rich. It's light. It's light, but it's rich. But it's not like super sweet. It is good. Oh no, as you know, we may have been very well blessed by not getting the brunt of Hurricane Mountain, but apparently, <laughs> apparently the Germany pavilion, we have, we're at a loss. <laughs> some survived and some did not, but the trees are down. Oh my gosh. We need FEMA out here ASAP. The catastrophe has happened. I haven't seen this on the news anywhere. Oh my goodness, what are we gonna do, Jaden? They're being neglected. We need to help these poor. Oh my goodness, there's more down over here. Oh, what is going on? Oh my gosh. Oh, man down. Someone's over here. Leaning up against the wall. They look like they're about to pass out. Oh man. Their house is standing, but the door is demolished. Right here in the corner. She's just in disbelief. Or he, he's curled up in a ball crying because of the destruction. They need help. Disney would help them. As the sun sets, we are headed over to Forest and Field. <laughs> we are going to try something different. The pumpkin mascarpone ravioli with sage brown butter, something cheese, and hazelnut praline. Are you excited to give it a go? Let's try it out. All right, here's the first look of the ravioli. Three tiny little raviolis. I'm afraid now. I feel like this is gonna be really good and I'm gonna want more because there's so little of it. I just wanna say I'm really excited about this. It's really good. I just tried a pumpkin and feta flour bread at all these. That was actually really good if you're foodie. You gotta try it. I like it. I feel like it's missing something. Like maybe a little sauce. A little more cheese. What do you think? It's very good. It's good. Like I, I'm surprised. This is what it looks like on the inside. 
<laughs> so for the price, I think that's okay. Would I eat a full portion of this? Absolutely. Like a full portion with like breadsticks or some type of nice bread with it. What about you? What do you think, Jen? It's great. I'm going to rate it 8 out of 10 just because I feel like it needs just a little something. I don't know what the little something is. But, uh, a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I'm pretty impressed. The sun is setting, and right across from where we got the ravioli, they have milled and mold. So they have a fresh baked carrot cake with walnuts and cream cheese icing. They have a fig and balsamic cheesecake. I would like to try that. I would like to try them all, honestly. They all look good. Fresh out of the oven, the carrot cake. This actually might be the winner of the evening. It's hot, warm, ooey gooey. Look at that. Look at all that. Look at that icing. With this right here. Oh, tops the cake. Get it? Tops the cake. <laughs> what do you think, Jaden? Um, nine and a half. Nine and a half. I like that it's warm and fresh. Very good. I would definitely get this one in. He's working off all. He's working off all the food in the seat. Hey, go, Jaden! Go, Jaden! Go! <laughs> He's still going. <laughs> I told him it's get closer to getting the frame. <laughs> Okay, so top two things that you would definitely try again. Pickle. And what else? Carrot. I say the carrot cake, and I actually like the first, like the impossible Pickle? slider. Oh. No, the impossible slider that we tried. Those are my top two. But I also really like the raspberry pomegranate, the frozen tea that was over there with um. Pickle. And I also like, I like the pumpkin, the Reveille we just tried, but there's only three tiny ones for like 525. So I feel like in order for me to get it again, they need to have like a little bit more. Uh, what else did I like? Pickle. Carrot cake was phenomenal. That was my favorite so far. Okay, so I'm doing this dual camera thing here. So this is the traditional macaroni and cheese. I think we're so full. This is the only thing we can maybe try to take a couple of bites of. So let's give it a go. I don't think it's gonna be as good as mine. I put some really good macaroni and cheese on this side. We'll take a bite. I'm so full. It is good. It's different. It tastes a little spicy to me. Yeah. I've got a little spice to it. Your face is so funny. Come into the camera. Actually, it's a 4 out of 10. I don't know. Just not for me. It tastes a little dry. What do you think? He's just chomping it down over here. Is it a yes or a no? What what do you rate it? Out of ten. A zero. I'm at a five. Five. So four to five. We have folks. Not the winner in our books no, today. No. Four and a half. And this is located inside the communi Communicore Hall. Sure. <laughs> Dan thinks he's something nice on the camera. Go. You you're gonna you're gonna end up uh, wanting to do it more and more, and I'm gonna let you do it, so I don't have to hold the camera. Hey. In the direction that we're going, we're going toward the lake. <laughs> All the rides are like five, ten minutes, soaring to walk on. So we're gonna enjoy the rest of the night, close it out with some rides. Thanks for coming along. Until next time, don't forget that every day is a gift. So have faith and share the joy.
Echo.